iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to iTeach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install SharePoint 2010 on Server 2008 R2. Right now, I'm on a fresh, clean install of Server 2008. Uh, it's a member server right now. If you don't know what member server is, it's, it's not a domain controller. It's actually a part of the domain. So it's not a domain, it's just a server, it's just a regular server. All right. First thing we want to do is make sure that you have at least four gigs for SharePoint. I've ran into a lot of problems. If you don't give it at least four gigs of RAM, SharePoint probably won't install. Uh, this one has about five gigs, so we should be good to go. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and install a role, add a role. So we're going to go ahead and add a IIS server. So we'll go ahead and add the role for that. Go ahead and click on the web server. We want to make sure we install ASP.NET. good all right you can install anything else you want on your web server so we go ahead and press next and install it all right once it's installed we're gonna go ahead and close I want to go ahead and add a feature go ahead and install this you don't have to do this but just I just like to have this just for safekeeping go ahead and install the framework all right it's finished so let's go ahead and check to make sure that our web server is working so we will go ahead and go to Internet Explorer all right once it comes up we're gonna go ahead and put in here localhost Go ahead and press enter. All right, you should get this. If you do not get this, you, you have done something wrong. So we go ahead and rewind this and go ahead and check to make sure you did everything I told you to do. Now let's go ahead and install SharePoint. Go ahead and put your installation disk in if you don't have it in already. So we go ahead and click on it. All right, so now we want to go ahead and install software prerequisites. Go ahead and press next, and this should install everything for you. It's really simple. Go ahead and accept. And I'll be back once it's finished. All right, once it's finished, you should come to the screen. If, if you did everything right, it should be successful. So you go ahead and press finish. And it will, re will restart. All right. When you come back in, it will finish the last bit of, of what it needs to do. All right. Go ahead and click finish. Now we want to go back to the installation disk. Now let's go ahead and install SharePoint. If you get this error, just go ahead and restart your computer. So let's go ahead and restart it. Now it should work this time. All right, now you go ahead and put your serial number in. For this case, I'm using a trial version just to show you guys. So I'm gonna put my trial serial number in. All right, go ahead and set the terms. I'm going to go ahead and do a standalone. I'm not doing a server farm. I'm just doing a standalone install. 
and I'll be back once it's finished installing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and run the uh, SharePoint wizard. Press next. All right, once it completes, you go ahead and click finish. All right, when you when when you click finish, this should pop up. The URL to the SharePoint server should be the name of your computer. And um, you can go ahead and play around with it and do some neat things. Most people like to use the document works workspace. You create one of them, and then you can add a group or add a user or whatever you want to add and um right here I'm just going ahead and use the default one or you can create a new one so I'm using the default ones they gave me press ok and homeowners have full control of the site and so on and so on read the descriptions to see which one does and you can add your users in the AD to what group you want them to to be a part of and have what kind of rights you want them to have when they connect to the SharePoint. Let me go ahead and show you an example if you're on another computer or machine. I'm gonna go to my domain controller who's actually on this domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my domain controller. All right, this is my domain controller. As you can see, the computer name is different. The other one was called Ask Joe, and that's what the SharePoint is on. And this computer name is Ask Brian, and this is the fully qualified domain name right here. So let's go ahead and go to Internet Explorer. And like I saw, you have to do is go ahead and put Ask Joe in there because that's the name of that server that has the SharePoint on it. So go ahead and Ask Joe. You don't have to put anything else because this is a local server. So go ahead and press Enter. It's going to ask you for your password. And go ahead and tell it to remember credentials so I don't have to ask you ever again. Press OK. And there you have it. Now I'm on the domain controller and I access the SharePoint. And right now I'm logged in as administrator. I didn't use a different user account. But once you ask somebody else to have access to it, go ahead and just make them a home member. And uh, they can be able to log into the SharePoint site too. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.